Man, what's up? I like that. Killing it. Killing it. I'm killing it every, each and every week at the Southern California Comics Weekly oh, yeah. Video Update. Uh, 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 uh. Otherwise known as the sun I'm running down. Uh, if you say so. Uh, 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 I do loves not it. acknowledge it. Loves it. I don't acknowledge it. Everybody it's bad. It. Sun down or down. Okay, I'm Danny. I'm Rob. And comics came out this week, and we're going to run through the best. One might even say we're gonna run down the best on the oh, oh. sundown. Oh my god! Run down. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's the fifth week of July, right? It's one of those months where it's yeah, like a fifth. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. bizarre. Which, uh, not a huge load of new comic books this no, week. No, you know what? Laying out the new comics this morning to the <laughs> polls was was fairly depressing. Yeah. Each company was just sort of a, <laughs> but you know. Yeah. Final gasp. But, but that does not mean the week was without its bangers, uh -oh. shall we say? Miley Cyrus, represent. Two Americans call a banger in the mouth. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> I like that reference. <laughs> you, you, start? you started. You got the most All right. banger -ish. Hot book of the week. Hot fire. Sax Criminals. Wow. Math Fraction, Chip Zdarsky. Special. What is this? Number 11. Number 11. I pick it up every week, but I still don't know. Each issue is polybagged. Because there are a thousand variant covers in this print run. Because originally the creators wanted to give away money. Yes. And they realized that that was super illegal. And you can't just give money to people in comic books. Technically that counts as bribery. <laughs> Something like that. So there are about a thousand sketch covers that Matt and Chip have sketched in themselves. Mm -hmm. So, everything, it's all polybagged, you gotta buy the book, open it up, pull out the cover. Mine was not a sketch cover, unfortunately. But, there's also a hilarious, not safe for work, Brian oh, Lee O'Malley cover. Not at all safe for work, it but is. absolutely safe for the comfort of your home. It's so good. And for it, it's your sanity. And it costs four sixty nine, just slightly, slightly more than the average issue of Sex Criminals. Get it? For sixty nine. Get it? Yes. Okay. I love them. I love it. Love it. What else we got? I love when people are just, just having fun with it. They're comics. They're funny books. Having a gay old time, as the Simpsons say. A gay old time. The caveman Simpsons, I mean. Indeed. The Flint Stones. You know what? John Cook can represent. <laughs> what you got? I happen to know. Not intimately, but I happen to know an artist. He enjoys comics. He has fun with comics. Normally just in the French atmosphere, but now my homie Ben Gall, tearing it up, tearing it up in Marvel in DC, his newest joint, Gar Gar uh, Guardians Team Up. Guardians Team Up? Ray Fox is on the right. I love me some Ray Fox. I'm a, I'm a big fan. I like Ray Fines. It's really... English patient represent. Really great. Uh, cool. In, what's it called? That one movie, the... Um, in Bruges? No. Fantastic. No. Oh. We'll get back to that. Either way. They're filming midgets. Um, my boy, Ben Gall, did a pretty fire issue of Batgirl, the yes. Batgirl Endgame. It's a good no one. dialogue. Um, matter of fact, <laughs> I think it's somewhat interesting. Marvel asked me to do the same thing for them. So here we have a Silver Surfer and Groot story <laughs> that is largely without dialogue. And once again, the way he these panels, I just... I love his rendering. I'm loving that this guy is getting more work. I just, I love him. This, this, this one has a really different feel from the Batgirl one. Oh, yeah. It's partially the colors, I, I was think. just about to say, the colors really set the tone. Like, oh, man. More purple. Ah! That's a great splash page. That's a great splash page. Have you already offered to buy that original art from him? For that splash <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> haven't even finished paying off the last one I'm buying from him. Oh. Hey, do you mind if I buy some more from you? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, All right. From IDW, Transformers vs. G.I. Joe. Numero Ocho. That means number eight in Spanglish. Yeah, it does. Get it, son? Yes. Tom Scioli. John Barber is the co-writer. Tom Scioli is the artist slash co-writer. Crazy. I don't know if anyone's really paying attention to this book, but it's like a really like out of this world art comics approach to what should merely be a purely commercial endeavor <laughs> but it's weird kirby-esque it's it's gorgeous it's 
experimental, like, licensed comics are killing it sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, this is, this is a must-read book. I remember the title. It yes. was the Grand Budapest Hotel, is what I was specifically thinking about. That's a good movie. Wes Anderson represent? Loving me some Wes Anderson. Kanye Wes Anderson? I, I ain't off of that Bengal train, though. I was something wildly inappropriate. Um, <laughs> I'm an art guy myself, loving it. And so, DC giving me exactly what I want, my just desserts, Batgirl Annual. We've got Bengal, we've got La Fuente. We've got Doyle. We've got Helen Chen. All of them in this. In, all of them in this issue. Squad, loving it, just killing it. Big doll in the front. Then we got a couple pages later. Some fun La Fuente. And I, I, I really am the most excited though about. Ooh. Yeah. Little little Gotham Academy. Little Gotham Academy. Little crossover. Yeah, yeah. You're about it. I know you're about it. Cause I'm about it. What? Next. Casanova, Assetia number three. Um, a little later than expected, but it's back. One of my favorite comic series of all time. It's Matt Fraction with Gabriel Bot and Fabio Moon. I, love I believe Fabio Moon is drawing this issue. Oh, I think they're both working on it. Oh, snap! Yes, that's right. Michael Chabon writes the uh, backup story drawn by Gabriel Bot. Mm. It's a dope comic. Catch up on it. Well, I've been meaning to read it. I didn't read the original Casanova. I'll though. hook you up. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. And last, I know this is going to seem like cheating for me, but... Oh, we didn't do this one yet? No, oh, I, I, I basically just talked a whole bunch about the other one. It oh, turns yeah. out that Batgirl Annual isn't the only Batgirl of this week. We've also got Batgirl issue 42, which is really most important. We're going to do a slow pan into this for Livewire. I wish I could make an electric sound. It's not convincing, but... Livewire. One of the, I think... Livewire, great bar in San Diego. Check it out. I was going to say one of the better parts of the... Uh, not that any of it's bad, but one of the most memorable for me from the animated show was Livewire. I don't know why. Yeah, it was... He's, she is a Superman version of Harley Quinn. Yeah. Or like the character that kind of stood out from the animated series. And I just, you know, after she was on the animated series, she kind of like came over for a little while. But they never really felt like knew how to use her. But I think in this new setting where it's fun... You know, Stuart and Fletcher are on this. Babtar drawing her, I think that is exceptional. Like, this is where she belongs. Like, if they could just make her the villain every single month, I'd be alright with that. Just, just look at that. Some live wire. Shocking. I feel like what happened is fans of the cartoon grew up. Yeah. So, like, it's like, oh, we're bringing her in now. We're going to make her work. It's crazy like how her. people do that. Yeah. Get older and drunk. All right, let's do something crazy right now. Let's do it. No cuts. Do it. Straight heat. Do let's it. talk about Something's it. Happening. Hot new book of the week. All right. Got to charge the battery pack, but we're going to run through this. Yeah. Superman domed. It's here. Scotty Lobs. Oh. Someone named Fernandez. Oh. Doom is back. He's left the Marvel Universe. He's in the DC Universe now. Doom is here. Yeah. We're preparing the new Fantastic Four movie. He's the god of Secret Wars, but he's everywhere now. He's in Doom. This is this is like young Doom, like sort of teen Doom. Right. Like he's like this a, is this is really before he, he figured out wearing a costume was better than looking like a like some sort of raw piece of meat. Yeah. It's by Scotty Lobbs, who cannot write a bad comic. No, it's impossible. Scott